Hello there, Darren Steen from Amazing Abdominals and FatLossLifestyle.com. Here today in my fitness laboratory here in Chicago, bringing to you one of our best Amazing Abdominal X, no pun intended, but this is one of the most incredible ab exercises I've ever done. I just created and tweaked the technique, it's fantastic. But lesson 101 on abdominals is everyone works their abs to death in the front plane of motion. It bringing the leg raises up, working it here, doing sit-ups and coming down this motion here, but what about this motion here from side to side? Why do you think boxers pop, pop, have some of the most incredible ab uh, midsections and cores of any elite athletes and they really don't do too many traditional ab exercises? Because when your body is pulling and pushing, your core turns this way and this way. So we're going to do two movements in combination utilizing that technique on the second one, second phase. And then the, the, the third technique reminder is that anytime you're doing a, a, an ab routine, an ab setup, if you go nice and slow, a minimum range of motion is going to keep tension on the abdominal wall. And if you visualize one vertebrae at a time coming off the pad up and then slowly lowering one vertebrae at a time back down to the pad, bring your chin down coming up and about halfway down letting your chin come away from your chest, you're going to go uh, a long ways towards feeling the abdominal walk better. So here we go, let's get into it. It's got two phases. For advanced abdominal uh, clients like some of you out there, pick a dumbbell around 30 to 40 pounds. I'm going to pick a 40 pounder. Intermediate, pick about 15 to 20. And entry level, go maybe 5 to 10 pound dumbbells. All right, here we go. Simple ab bench at a, a, an angle of about a 45 degree angle. A little steeper for advanced, a little bit less steep for entry level. Grab the dumbbell. Just like that, tap the floor. Bring your shoulder blades off, bring it right over your nose. Ah. <clears throat> Down slow. Four. One vertebrae at a time. Three. Chin comes away. Two. And one. Tap the floor. Bring the dumbbell over your nose as the shoulder blades come off. And then. Ah. And four. And three. And two. Shoulder blades hit. Ah. Big breath in. Ah. Dumbbell over the nose. Ah. And four. And three, and two, and one. Okay, now a mistake I've made in the past is pushing, going here and pushing the dumbbell straight up, not as good, or pushing it straight towards that bar right there, not as good, so right in the middle. Okay, so we bring the dumbbell over our head, and blow, and then down slow, three, two, and one. All right, now that is a phenomenal movement. Just keep those things in mind. Now take a break, catch your breath for a few seconds, get back down there. Now let's do our, our boxing technique. Always focus on when you're trying to work in this plane of motion that you're starting a lawnmower <clears throat> or a chainsaw <clears throat> first and then the punch comes through. I'd like to back up and say I've had comments on my uh, videos in the past. They're like, he's making noises like an animal. Well. It's a nice way to control your air the proper way. Take a big breath at the bottom, and then when things get tough, ah, oh, why do you think the martial artists get their key right here from their midsection? The core is deep down inside. It's your TVA, your transverse abdominis. It's your diaphragm, your Kegel squeeze muscles. It's right here deep down inside. So here we go, the second phase, folks. Woo, I love it. Okay, here we go. All right, get cocked. Keep this tight. Starting point down here, stay nice and tight. Look over your right, stay on your right shoulder blade. All right, tighten this up. This left arm, big breath in. Ah! Now my weight's on my right shoulder blade. Now as I look to the left and I pull, I just bring my elbow down to the pad. Ah! Ah! Do five or six of those, and then take a couple breaths and give me a quicker tempo. And five, four, uh, 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 woo. And there you have it. One of our one of our Spartan 100 top abdominal exercises that you'll ever do. And I'm telling you right now, anybody can do this. You have the power to change. We got hundreds of people walking into our fitness laboratory using these techniques. But keep in mind, exercises is the least important factor of the three pillars of health. The other two more important factors are the foods that you eat, 
and the thoughts that you think. Foods that you eat is very important. The thoughts that you think are most important because everyone knows how to work out. They know how to eat, but the reason why they aren't doing it is the limiting beliefs they have in their head. Just like this guy here, Brad, this guy went from fat to ripped. On our program, he didn't even come into my club. I just did some phone call consultations. We here at amazingabdominals.com, we can give you the power to have the best body that you've ever had. So coming to you from Chicago, my fitness laboratory right here, bam, 43 years old, drug free for life. I was fat and sloppy at 22. I'm in the best shape of my life. Not just muscle, not just leanness. I'm talking flexibility, range of motion. I'm talking about expectations out of life. So if you want to feel young, it's not a chronological age. It's, do you have a goal? Are you going forward to, uh, and you feel excited about your best days are in front of you? Stay tuned for more incredible uh, abdominal videos like this here at amazingabdominals.com. Casas and Tom Venuto, thank you so much for getting me involved. I love you here in Chicago, and you can do it.